Welcome to Let's Talk Investing, a co-production of the Globe and Mail and the Investor Education Fund. I'm Rob Carrick, personal finance columnist at the Globe and Mail. And with me is Angela Self. Angela is co-host of the Smart Cookies program on the W Network. Angela and I are going to talk about layoffs. Angela, I've just laid up and laid off from my job. What should I do financially right away? Well, the first thing when you're exiting your job, you want to make sure that you've collected any vacation or any outstanding expenses. Sometimes we're so emotional with the process that we exit without thinking about, you know, what we've left behind. In some cases, though, it's very rare. You can negotiate your severance package as well when you're exiting. Um, but when you've, you know, had a chance to collect your thoughts and you're at home, the first thing you need to do, if you haven't done so already, is to create a spending plan and say what do I really need moving forward and what are my wants so where can you cut costs what are some ways you could start bringing money in if you've been laid off right away well the first thing I think is to look at what skills you were using in your previous job can you use those skills elsewhere consulting or on a freelance basis I know quite a few of our friends who have recently been laid off have turned to using some of their skills or some of their interests to start doing side work now let's talk about the emergency fund. That's what you put in place to protect you mm -hmm. if you are laid off. Um, how big should an emergency fund be? Well, we say you should have minimum three months savings. So three months of your living expenses, ideally six, but sometimes, especially now, it's hard to build that savings up, but you should really aim to have three months set aside. That's one of the oldest pieces of personal finance advice in the book. Mm -hmm. how, what's your sense of how many people actually follow it? Well, not many, not many, but now more than ever is it important to start building up that fund so we're not relying on our credit cards and we're not getting into that vicious cycle of how debt. How do you build it up? How, how do you get to three months salary? That's a lot of money. Well, you know, and that's what we talk about. We talk about the concept of finding hidden money in your life. So again, it's sitting down, taking a few minutes to go through your bills to say, you know, do I really need a landline? Where can I, you know, what can I do to, you know, cut some of my costs? And then you're taking that money and you're setting it aside into savings. Okay, last question. What vehicle do I use for my savings, for my emergency savings account? Uh, um, the t new tax-free savings right. account sounds like a good place. What do you think? Right. We love tax-free savings account, and that's definitely where you should be putting your money right now. Okay. Thanks a lot, Angela. Thank you.